Okay, so we've set up an account at VideoDirect on Amazon.com. So now we're going to upload videos. You're presented with this screen and go to your videos. Now you can upload standalone videos here like YouTube videos that you've done. I'm going to go for episodic now because I think there's more demand for the long form content of my Udemy type courses. So I'm going to put them under episodic and there's one that I've started already. I'll show you that later, but let's show you how to add a new course to Amazon Video Direct. So we'll enter the title of the course there and add series and we'll give the series title the same title there because I'm only doing one series. I think later on if you have courses with different sections in them maybe you'd like to create different series for those sections but at the moment I'm sticking with one series. Okay just showing you the amount of characters and words that you're allowed in the synopsis not much so keep the synopsis short and snappy and of course really sell the video product to the audience select your category educational and we'll stick with english so we'll continue here is the season now you could just go in and put the same thing again I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit different. Obviously, this will be the season one. I'll leave it up to you. Maybe you want to split up your courses into different seasons and give them different synopsis. Probably better for SEO, but we simply don't know at this stage. The genre, if you click in this, you get them in a drop down and you simply go and choose five of them. I would definitely choose all five. Don't leave any blank even though they're all these genres for music, video and films, you can still find the ones that are relevant to YouTube type tutorial and Udemy type courses. So for example, nonfiction, how to an instructional courses and lessons would be one you'd want to choose there. These are all quite obvious. So I go for English United States, even though it's probably English United Kingdom, as you can tell by my accent all ages not rated and the graphic assets these have to be quite large I'll show you my key art files in photoshop here's the first one which is the 169 make this one at 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high and 72 ppi of course so that's the wide version and the 4.3 version do this one at 1600 by 1200 pixels at 72 ppi and those will be sufficient to upload there. So we'll just upload the graphic assets. So the key art which is 16.9 the wide format. So this would be the cover with the title and the author large file and the background is the same size but this doesn't have the title and the author and then the key art is the more boxy size the 4.3 size and that I have the title and author on it so we'll save that that's all done and uploaded so cast and crew so I just put my name there this is obviously more important if you're uploading a, a movie but director, producer, take your pick. That's all I'm doing because there's only one person who created this video. So availability, I've skipped episodes, you'll notice. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Worldwide, I'm checking all of these at the moment. We need to add more episodes, which we will, of course, but we'll save that for now. But let's go into episodes and add episode and this is where you put your videos. So you have a title and description, the mezzanine file, which is the MP4, and the caption file, which can be a number of formats, but I'm uploading .scc files. And I'll just show you how I create them. So if you hover over that information icon there and click learn more, then you'll find the captioning formats, frame rates, and providers that Amazon recommends. And I've been using rev.com. So we go to captioning and $1 a minute, 
24 hour turnaround. So we get started. And what I like about this is all you have to do is paste the URL to the Dropbox or Drive folder where you have all your MP4 files and Rev just does the rest for you. So there it is, add. And there it is, it's gone into that Dropbox link and located all the MP4s there. So I'll click I'm finished. And it then calculates all the file lengths in minutes and therefore the cost. Remember it's $1 a minute. And you'll see no, some of these aren't working. That's usually because they're not an MP4. So maybe you've put some PDFs or other file formats into that folder and in which case Rev won't know the minutes. Um, so I usually just delete those files and pretty soon you'll be ready to check out and get all the captioning done for all your videos. So here is one I did earlier going to season one and episodes and there's the first episode I've done with the title and the description. I've already uploaded the mp4 file and now I'll show you how to upload the captions which are SCC files that I got from Rev and I'll just show you the order so within 24 hours Rev came back to me with all the SCC files they're all given the same name as the mp4 files making it very easy so I downloaded them all there as a zip file. Now that I've done that, I can browse and find the correct SCC file for this video. And the video is called introcourse.mp4. So all I've got to do is find the SCC with the same title. Obviously they've added an underscore where there was a space. So we'll open that. So there it is, it's uploaded. And it's 29.97 frames per second. If you order SCC files from Rev.com, the default format is 27.97 FPS drop format. Language English. And there you go. That is the episode. So we can save that. That one's done. Uploading is very quick because it's just uploading the SCC file. If it was uploading the MP4, it would take substantially longer. You've got to go in and add all these episodes, all the videos and the corresponding caption file with a synopsis and keep doing that until you've finished and then you can publish your video, your course, your instructional video on the Amazon marketplace. What a fantastic opportunity it is. I can't wait to see how this is going to go. I'm going to see which courses do well and which courses don't do well. I'll get back to you about that. But in the meantime, I hope you found this video useful and enlightening and I'll see you in the next one. My name is Rob Coven. Goodbye.